Revenge of the Fallen, the awkward middle child of the original trilogy, made during a writer strike resulting in Bay going uncontested in terms of what he can do. This led to lots of problems that we are not going to touch. What we are going to talk about is a character born from the film. Sideswipe. Clear it, as you saw, he had an awesome entrance with a unique transformation to boot. His ensuing confrontation with Sideways cements him in the minds of many. His slight unconventional robot design is translated almost perfectly into toy form. Back of the car as his chest, wheels for feet like a rollerblader, and his iconic arm mounted blades looking ready to slice up the annoying licensed vehicle. Head looks off in comparison to the CG model. Toy Form's head looks more youthful, innocent, naive, contrasting the CG model's older and more experienced look. Just look at this recreation of the Mexican standoff. Movie version knows what he's doing. Toy version on the other hand looks like he's nervous of fucking it up. I mean, you gonna trust this face? This face with the eyes of naivety? Whatever that means. I wouldn't. This next bit does worry me a little. See this joint here? It's clear plastic. Clear plastic is known in the fandom to be brittle, but this is very thick and does not look to be fully transparent, so hopefully that means it will hold up. Balancing him can also be hard due to his unique feet. Back wings are also bigger here compared to the movies, something the studio series version has over it. That doesn't mean it is inferior though, because as an overall package, it is a great toy. And you already saw it, but he isn't as dynamic in poses as I want him to. But his articulation is serviceable. Ball joint the head allows for a 360 rotation and down side to side movement. Arms got only this far and bend at the elbow 95 degrees and no elbow swivel. However, due to the transformation, there is a butterfly joint movement. Lower body has no waist swivel, legs go out this far and back this far, and also spreads out this much. Due to Megalai being something that Hasbro were pushing at that point in time, bending the knee, which is roughly 85 degrees, moves this bit right over here. The feet can move up and down. Ow. Careful though. As I said, serviceable. Now, onwards to transformation. A simple, frustrating, sometimes, but effective transformation. Parts go where you'd expect, and the result is just spectacular. The concept C3 Corvette Stingray takes inspiration from its namesake, the C2 Corvette, as seen with the back windows. Wonder how anyone sees. Colors are stunning as well, metallic silver, with blue windows is a combination you rarely see, tracks would be proud. Now, the only trouble that I have with the vehicle mode is the arms, because do it wrong and it won't roll nearly as well. And also, these blades don't really tab in, but it's a bit of a minor problem, so it doesn't bother me that much. So, is he worth it? Yes, sort of. You can find him for a pretty good price, and he looks great next to your movie figures. 
studio series scale junkie this will not do for you everyone else um, you decide i personally wanted them because come on look at this a sweet ass car that transforms into a sweet ass looking robot in his words damn i'm good thanks for watching all two people who didn't leave bye